explains to automobiles. Your car collects a treasure trove of information on you, your whereabouts, your speed, even how many people are in the car. Think about it. That data, a gold mine for advertisers, even the government. Now, at least one car company, BMW, says it's not going to share that info with anybody. With us now, car coach Lauren Fix. Lauren, welcome to the show. So, right in my hot little hand here, I have what they call an EDR, an event data recorder. This is a black box from a car. Remind mm -hmm. our viewers, remind me what this thing collects. Well, it collects a lot of data, and mind you, that just the EDR alone, and there's other sensors in the car, will collect your speed, the input of the steering, when you're on the brakes, how much you're on the brakes, how much you're on the accelerator, where it tells everything about the car. So when the car goes in for service, the service technicians can connect their computer to it and either correct the problem through a software update or they can find out what's wrong with the car mechanically. So there's a lot of information collected, reams of information. So, and one of the things for consumers, if you're in a car accident and maybe it wasn't mm -hmm. your fault, uh, you might be able to prove it showing information from the EDR, right? Right, and usually that's a subpoenaed situation where the insurance company gets involved and the attorneys get involved. But if it's something as simple as a fender bender, usually they won't go after the EDR for information. This is usually pretty big accidents. All right, so, but it, it's really complicated, right? Because sometimes it could help you, and sometimes it's not mm -hmm. going to help you, right? You may oh, not yes. want all that information out. And BMW now saying we're not going to share information. Does that mean they're not going to share any information? And why would they do that? That's so interesting because I think they could get paid big bucks for this data. Well, absolutely, there could be big bucks, but uh, BMW put up a firewall because when you think about, especially the BMW connected car, they also own Mini, so they have Mini, Mini connected as well. It is a, a rolling Wi-Fi unit, so it's collecting right. information and it's sending out information, whether that's from your navigation screen or your radio or your phone. So there's constant communication going back and forth. They don't want that to be available to advertisers. They don't want it to be available to the government. They want to keep that for themselves so that they can help you. Of course, advertisers whoa, 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 Lauren, 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 wait. I, I, you got to stop there. So you're telling me that BMW is looking out for my best long-term interests? They could sell. They could sell. As I said, they could sell this money and make a ton of dough. Right. The information. They won't. Me. And, they, and they don't want. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> but they don't want the government to have it either, because then the government's going to use it for their own information. And believe me, they already have enough information on where your car That's is true. located that they can find easily from traffic huh. cameras and easy passes and and sun passes and license detection. So what I would tell people is you actually want that protection. And there actually is a Driver Privacy Act that's in place right now. It was put together in 1994 to protect consumers from other people accessing that data. I mean, we all kind of don't want everyone to know where we're going and what we're doing. But the fact is that information is already out there. So why let them know everything you're doing in your car? How would well, you like to receive a ticket? I know. Hey, Jerry, I just, you got me I pointing just have, to point I'm a little, little faster skeptical. than you should have. I'm sending you a ticket. I'm a little skeptical when I hear a company yeah. saying, oh, but Jerry, we're just watching out for you. I just think there must be something else going on. But here's what BMW said, and, you know, thank God for it. There's plenty of people out there saying, give us all the data you've got, and we can tell you we can do, and we, and we can tell you what we can do with it. And we're saying, no, mm -hmm. thank you, no, thank you, we don't want to do that. Now, obviously, they right. couldn't tell everybody no. If the government came to them with a subpoena, they'd probably have to share the data, right? They probably would have to. I know that Ford's doing the same thing. All the manufacturers don't want to be the first one that's in front of the press where you and I go at it saying, oh boy, look at the data we got and look what happened. Look at the regulation. Look at the tickets going out. Look at someone that hacked a car. So they're all protecting themselves by putting up firewalls and they're creating a coalition so that they all are on the same page and there's not one manufacturer going one direction one going the Listen, other. Listen, as you said before, the government has a ton of info already. Mm -hmm. The SunPass system in Florida, they know where you are and what you're doing. Oh, Big yeah. Brother is right over our shoulders, right? Absolutely. There's more information. Every police officer that passes you, they're actually collecting your license plate information. And that information is not just local information. It goes to the state. It goes up to the feds. If that information needs to be accessed, believe me, they can find you. <laughs> they can find you, and they can hound you, <laughs> and they can send you a tax yeah. bill or a fear of fine. Great. <laughs> Lauren Fix, the car coach, thank you.